hello and welcome back to my channel. Let's have some holiday sweet treats. So it is officially the holiday season and that gives us a wonderful excuse to eat tons of wonderful treats. And this week I'm going to be sharing with you some recipes of some very simple, very tasty sweet treats that would be wonderful for you to make and take to your next holiday gathering. The first sweet treat that we're going to be making today is one that was highly requested by my family. We love Little Debbie cakes, the Christmas tree cakes, and I had been seeing where there was a Christmas tree cake dip. So we're going to start by reserving one of our Christmas tree cakes to the side, and then we're going to be chopping up or dicing the four remaining Christmas tree cakes. I got this recipe from Pinterest. I will leave it linked down below. I am having the recipe. So we're just gonna do one box of Christmas tree cakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice up the snack cakes. Next, we're gonna be using half a block of cream cheese. I did let this sit out and soften, but you're gonna need half a block of cream cheese and I'm gonna use half a container of whipped topping as well. Again, I'm only doing half the recipe. So if you want a bigger batch, follow the recipe down in the description box below. Next, I'm going to add in a dash of vanilla and then we're just gonna get to stirring this up. You could do this in a food processor or even use a hand mixer, but we just stirred it up and then we poured it out into a pretty plate. Once we got this out into our dish, I did spread this out, just smooth it so that it looks evenly distributed. And then we're gonna use our leftover Christmas tree cake as a garnish. It kind of just sets the tone, but it also lets people know what it is that they are eating. And so I just placed that Christmas tree cake right there in the center. And then I had some Christmas sprinkles that I went ahead and put around on the top. And I'm gonna be serving this up with some vanilla wafers, but you could use graham crackers, you could use pretzels, anything that you like. This was really delicious and it was definitely a winner in my family. For this easy Christmas treat, it only takes three ingredients. We're gonna use Rolos, pecan halves, and butter snap pretzels. So we're gonna start by taking one of these pretzel with one of the Rolos. We're gonna unwrap it and we're gonna put it on top. Just like that, it's that simple. So let's get these put on the baking sheet. Here are all of our Rolos and pretzels ready for the oven. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna put these in for three minutes. After three minutes in the oven, you are going to take the pecan halves and you are going to put them on top of the soft melty Rolos. You've gotta work fast. And here are these delicious sweet treats. If you like any kind of Valentine's candy that's turtle, that's what this tastes like. It is delicious. It's a cherry cheesecake dip. So I'm gonna start with my one block of cream cheese that I let sit out this whole time so it could be softening up. So I'm getting that into my bowl here. If it will open, it's not wanting to open. Let's use this. Okay. So I'm going to get that into my bowl. And we're going to be mixing with that some whipped topping here. Now, the price for this, I'm using the whipped topping and the cream cheese. I'm also going to be using this cherry pie filling and these graham crackers. All right, so I have my one uh, block of softened cream cheese there. I've got some whipped topping. I had to get that at my local grocery store too. I couldn't find that at Walmart or Aldi. I don't know if it's because it's after Thanksgiving. I've got this can of cherry pie filling and this can, uh, package of graham crackers. This was, um, 
about $5.32. The block of cream cheese, I got at Aldi for 89 cents. I got the graham crackers at Aldi for $1.29. And I got the cherry pie filling at Aldi for $2.15. This, the Cool Whip, if you could find it at Aldi, was 89 cents. But then once I looked at my local grocery store, it was 89 cents too. So this is pretty easy. All I have to do is take the softened cream cheese and I'm just gonna mix in with it this whips topping. I'm gonna do this a little bit ahead of time so it can set up. And so I'm just gonna get a little spoon on here. I'm gonna just start kind of breaking up that cream cheese. And then I'm gonna mix in this whole container of whipped topping. So I'm gonna kind of just fold that in. And so this will take a minute to get it worked in with that cream cheese. So I'm just gonna keep stirring and breaking that cream cheese up and folding it in with the um, whipped topping. And then I'll show you how we put this together. It's super simple. I mean, you just put it in the pot, not in a pot. You put it in a pie dish. <laughs> all right, see you soon. Okay, I have got that all folded together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this into this pie plate, just like this. Remember, this is gonna be a dip, not an actual cheesecake. And so I'm just gonna put this out in this pie dish. And I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge and firm up. Now, I'm not going to be putting the cherries on top until it has sat in the fridge for at least 20 minutes. So that is super, super simple. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. I'm gonna put this in my fridge for 20 minutes. All right, so we are ready to put together our cherry cheesecake dip. So I'm just going to, I got this out of the fridge. I have been chilling in there for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna put top this cherry filling on top and garnish with some graham crackers to dip with. And then I will show you how this looks. So here is my cherry cheesecake dip. I just mixed a softened block of cream cheese with a container of whipped topping, let that chill in the fridge. I topped it with cherry pie filling and then garnished with all of these graham cracker pieces. I still have plenty of graham crackers left. This is beautiful. I think I'm the most proud of this. It looks so Christmassy. If you had a couple mint leaves to put on top, that would just be gorgeous as well. This was delicious, and if you are a cheesecake fan, you will definitely love this. For this next treat, I didn't even have to buy anything. I had everything in my pantry. So I have this almond bark chocolate left over from that pie video, that which was an epic fail. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. Anyways, I have the chocolate. I have some Ritz crackers. I have some peanut butter. And so I'm going to be making some chocolate peanut butter cookies. I have some sprinkles. Sprinkles are optional, but I did have them in the cabinet. So it's going to make this a festive holiday treat. And this is an easy one that I've made with my kids when they were little. They love helping out with this. So I'm going to take what I have left of this chocolate almond bark and I'm going to be melting it per the package directions in the microwave. Next, I'm just going to take my Ritz crackers and I'm just going to be putting them like a peanut butter sandwich cracker. I'm gonna put peanut butter and put a top on it. And for the amount of chocolate that I have, I think I'm only gonna be able to do just this one sleeve. So it just depends on how much chocolate that you um, have. And I had used a little bit of that. Here's that chocolate that I've stirred once it has melted. I've just got this here in a bowl with a spoon. I do have a cookie sheet that I've lined. I wanted parchment paper and I forgot it at the store. So I lined it with foil and sprayed it just so it wouldn't stick to the pan. But I dropped the cookies in and then I just kind of spoon it out with the spoon. I do try to let a lot of the excess chocolate kind of drip away. And then I'm just going to be dropping them onto this cookie sheet. And I'm gonna be very careful that they don't touch so that they don't stick together. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. Just repeat, repeat until I have covered all of my crackers, peanut butter crackers with the chocolate. I'm also going to be adding the sprinkles to the top of the chocolate cookies here. This is gonna make it festive, but again, this is optional and something that I had in my cabinet. I let these cool in the fridge until the chocolate was set. And guys, this is delicious, wonderful Christmas treat. 
So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you found a sweet treat that you would like to try. What is your favorite sweet treat to take whenever you're going to be getting together for the holidays? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope that you are having a very happy holiday season and I will see you in the next video. Bye.